year five. So this is your Tuesday lesson. It's for both math groups because we're both focusing on the same thing today. So we're going to be focusing on prime numbers. Now, Turing group, you did look at this last term. Uh, Johnson, I'm not sure whether you guys got, got a chance to do so. It's good to have a recap. So, what we need to remind ourselves first of all is what a factor is. So our factors are numbers that multiply together to make your starter number. So for example, the factors of 6 are 1, 6, 2 and 3 because they can multiply together to make your starter number 6. So, take a moment to have a think about what a prime number is. Think about it in your head. What might a prime number be if it's to do with factors? Pause the video, have a think and then check your thinking in a moment. So, a prime number is a number that only has two factors, itself and one, so it can only be divided by itself or one. So, because it needs to have two factors, itself and one, one obviously only has one factor, because itself is one and there's one, so it cannot be a prime number. That's just a rule we have to learn. So, take a moment to think. Based on the fact that a prime number can only be divided by itself and 1, do you think that 10 can be a prime number? Have a pause, think in your head, can 10 be divided by anything else except for 10 and 1? If the answer is yes, it can be divided by something else, it cannot be a prime number. So have a think, can 10 be a prime number? Pause the video and we'll come back to it. Okay, what did you think? So, 10... What else can it be divided by? So it can be divided by 1 and 10. It can also be divided by 2 and 5. So because it's got more than just two factors, it is not a prime number. So what about 7? So have a think about 7. Can it be divided by anything else? except for 7 and 1. If the answer is yes, it can be divided by something else. The answer is no, it cannot be a prime number. If it can only be divided by 7 and 1, yes, it is a prime number. Pause, have a think, we'll come back to it. Okay, so 7, the factors are 1 and 7, and that is it. So it can only be divided by 1 and 7, so yes, it is a prime number. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk you through what you'll be doing today. So, what you'll be doing today is you're going to be identifying all the prime numbers between 1 and 24. Now we're going to talk it through step by step. If you feel confident at the end, you can do this independently with your grid at home. And if you're struggling, you can always do it alongside this video. So, the first thing to do is cross out number 1. Because remember, a prime number needs to have two factors and a 1 only has 1. Okay. What you then need to do is cross out all of the numbers that are in the two times tables, but don't cross out 2. So, leaving 2 alone, not on the two times tables. 4 is, 6 is, 8 is, 10 is, 12 is, 14 is, 16 is, 18 is, 20 is on the two times tables, 22 is on the two times tables, and 24 is on the two times tables. So you're crossing out all the numbers that are in the two times tables except for 2. Right. Now I need to cross out all the numbers that are in the three times tables except for three. three. Leave three alone. So we're leaving three alone. Six in the three times tables, but nine is. So we'll cross it out. Eleven isn't. Thirteen isn't. But fifteen is. Seventeen isn't. Nineteen isn't. But twenty-one is. So I've crossed out now all the numbers that are in the three times tables except for three. So all the numbers that are left 
are your prime numbers. So what you're going to do today is you're going to do that same steps with your own grid that's on the next slide. Make sure you're following the steps of crossing out. If you're struggling with it, feel free to rewind the video and do the steps with me on your own grid at home. So a couple of questions afterwards for you to have a think about, but if you've got your grid there to help you, you should be able to do it. Good luck. 